I brought the guys to Seattle Glass Blowing Studio. I've always walked by this place and I wanted to try it. And here we are. You look appropriately dorky. Coming from Michael, that's a compliment. <laughs> Welcome to the Seattle Glass Blowing Studio. I'm assuming none of you have blown glass before. No. The ovens we're working with are about 2,100 degrees. Some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. Do you recognize that? The person teaching us how to do this is Hugh Willa. The stuff that he makes is next level. We're not going to come even close to what he can create, but I'm excited to see what we can do. Today we're going to be blowing glass, so we need a blowpipe, and essentially that's just a big metal straw. We broke up into teams. It's Saint and I against Jim and Michael. Oh, that's hot. I think Saint and I are going to win, as usual. Nope. We're going to make a bowl. We're going to make a bowl. At first I was going to make a cheeseburger, but I thought, well, that's already been done. We thought to keep it even, we would make a paperweight. OK, you got it. Tap and turn. There you go. Well, I'm just going to smooth this out, round it up again, and then get it ready for one more layer of glass, and then Saint's going to take over and assist me. You got this. The blowing part involves a lot of skill. The experts know exactly how much to exhale or inhale. And all I'm thinking is, please don't cough. All right, Saint, blow, please. It's kind of like blowing up a balloon, but with much less resistance. There you go. There is the blowing process, which Saint did. He's a blowhard. He can do that all day long. There's other ways to work the glass. You can shape it, you color it, you can stretch it and twist it and all these other things. There you go. Yes. Nice. Ooh. Cut a little bit of glass. Cool. That's awesome. I'm an artiste, and I'm letting the glass tell me what it wants me to do. I think it might want you to throw it away and start again. And then we're going to load this into our cooling oven. This is the hard part because now we have to wait for 24 hours for both of our pieces to cool down and kind of come together. And if they survive the process, we will be judged to see who the winner is. Oh. Can we look? Oh. Look what we made! Oh. The clear winner is obviously the entry from the Michael and Jim group. It is called Hidden Disposition. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it is called uh, Serpentine Gallows. You're the judge. Brandon's an expert. Here. How long have you been blowing glass? I've been blowing glass for 17 years. 17 years. <laughs> I'm going to go with Team Sucky Bowl. <gasps> did, did he say, did he call it Team Sucky Bowl? It's a perfect example oh. of blowing and inhaling to create a perfect That was bowl. all you! He did call it sucky. He did. I That's a compliment that. he called it a here. sucky bowl. It's complimentary. I don't know. I, it's which, a compliment. Okay, well, which would you say is the best example of a paperweight? <laughs> well done. <laughs>